Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm doing too bad because it's not completely full. Like, whatever helps you sleep at night, right? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, we are in a different location today. We are clearly in front of my book cart because today's video I'm going to be organizing and putting together my TBR book cart and also simultaneously showing you all of the physical books on my TBR that I currently own. <sighs> So the reason for this is I am really, really, really gonna try to be on a book buying ban in March and I'm trying to read as many books as I can off my actual physical TBR before starting any more series or buying any more books, etc. Because I counted the beginning of this year and I didn't realize how many books I had on my physical TBR and I was like, okay, I either need to read it or get rid of it. And that is what we're doing. So I've already gone through my shelves and took everything down. I have it all in front of me. We're going to organize it and I'm going to show you guys what I have. And then I also unhauled a bunch of books, which I think is part of one of my vlogs. And if it's already uploaded, I'll put it up here. If you guys are interested in seeing what books on my physical TBR, I ended up just unhauling because I didn't think I would end up reading them. So I'm selling those my Pingo books. If you're interested, that is in the description box. But we're going to get right on into today's video. The first tier is always my monthly tbr so whatever video i make in the month of like for example february tbr all those books are gonna be on the top shelf because that's kind of like my priority in a way of like what i really want to read this week i'm taking this off <laughs> when i'm filming this it is currently still february i'm sure i'm still uploading this in february but just i already made my february tbr um it is towards the end of the month so i only currently have four more books on the february tbr that i have not read yet so I'm just going to put those back on the top shelf because I'm still working on February. But I am also going to be adding Things We Keep From The Light by Lucy Score. This wasn't in my February TBR video, but it did release this week and I just got it. So I'm going to add it up there because I'm probably going to read it next. So And this jar up here is all notes that people at my bridal shower wrote me like wedding advice and stuff so I just keep it up there because I think it's cute um but yeah so this is our first shelf the rest of my February TBR okay we're gonna start with all of the thrillers I own that I haven't read yet because I'm gonna put them on the bottom tier because they're all usually like really dark and they're just not like aesthetically pleasing most of the time so first one we have is Lucy Foley the Paris apartment um the hunting wife by may Calm. um we have my husband's wife which i actually bought this literally years ago and i just never read it so i used to be a really big reader in like elementary middle high school etc i went into college and i just kind of stopped reading and i picked it back up last year but i always would go to target and as you can tell they're always gonna have target stickers on them and i'd buy a book like swear i'm gonna get back into reading and then i never did until last year so i have like a few books that i don't even know if they're good i literally have bought them years ago and haven't read yet so this is one of them next one would be the seller same thing i bought this literally years ago um and i was actually going to unhaul this because it is a wet pad like book um but i actually just watched a video where the girl was talking about how this is like an underrated series but I don't want to start it yet because it is a series and I don't want to have to buy more books to finish this one because that kind of defeats the purpose. We have The Turn of the Key. Missing Presumed. I bought this at Second and Charles because it was on sale for like $2. Haven't read it yet. Pretty Little Wife. A bunch of these hardcovers I'm about to show you are book of the month books. But I actually bought them on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It has a lot. So I just haven't got to them yet. But I'm trying to make my way through these. We have Pretty Little Wife her one mistake an anonymous girl i think there's another one that we'll probably get to we have the girls in the stilt house american psycho and this is another one of those books i bought you can tell i bought it years ago because it's just so like ripped up but this is the wife who knew too much i just actually got this one which is one of us is lying and i'm really excited to get to this one and I think this is the last one, and this is The Shadows. So that is all of the thrillers on my TBR. That is literally so many thrillers. But the only good thing about thrillers is you can really get through them so fast because they're usually really addicting and really easy reads. So I'm not too worried that I have so many because I really like to break up my other books with a thriller because, again, they're just so good. They get you out of a reading slump every time. So that right there was 14 books. We're going to add those all to the bottom shelf of this TBR cart. Okay, next category we're actually going to do is my summer 
TBR. So I've been collecting books that I want to read um, in the summertime. We have People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I cannot believe I still haven't read this. I'm so excited to get to it. And I also have Beach Read by Emily Henry. And you guys are probably like, you are so behind. And I'm very well aware of that. I actually just got these for Christmas this year. Um, so I will be reading these probably like first. I think I read only one Emily Henry book so far. Yeah, I think I've only read Book Lovers. So I'm very excited to get to these. I have some Ellen Hildebrandt books. I have 28 Summers. The Castaways, Golden Girl, and Beautiful Day. I'm saving all these for the summer because literally just look at the covers. Like, they're summer books. And I recently just thrifted three of these and then I bought one during the Target sale. So I just recently got these on purpose for the summertime. I think this is my last, like, summer-specific book. And it's just maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is the last book I have by her to read. So that's why I'm kind of pushing it off because I'm really upset. But I do want to read all of her books. So this is the last one. And I don't even know what this is about, but there's just palm trees on it. So I'm assuming it's going to be summer themed. And that is my quick little summer TBR. Okay, sorry I keep switching angles. I have a bad back and like sitting on the floor is hurting my back. So I have to keep moving the way I'm sitting. But next we're going to go into, I think like series that I have. So I have a few books that are the first books in series. And I have so many series that I'm currently in the middle of reading. So I don't want to start these anytime soon either until I clear out some other books because I don't want to start the first book in the series love it want to get the second and then just keep adding books to the tbr so we have a madness so discreet um i think i don't even know what this is about i bought this literally i think like five years ago but i've heard some really good things about it so that's why i'm keeping it um i have the night and its moon which i also got for christmas but i'm in the middle of still reading akutar i'm on the third book right now taking it slow because i'm not a big fantasy girly so i don't want to start any other fantasies until i finish akutar I have matched I bought this randomly at Barnes and Noble almost a year ago I think and it is a dystopian like YA I love dystopian books I just haven't started this because again there's like four other books in the series and if I really like it I'll have to go buy them but I am excited to eventually get my hands on or like read that I have Red Queen which again another fantasy series I only bought this book thrifted actually and it was like three dollars so I figured I'd get it while it was cheap and that's why I have that I also have Crave by Tracy Wolf, which again, I think I bought this like four years ago and I was actually going to unhaul it until one of my friends told me she just read the whole series and absolutely loved it. I think it's like has to do, I don't, okay, I don't know if it has to do with Twilight or if it's like a retelling or about vampires. I don't know, but I'm not starting it until I finish some series. <laughs> I have Promises and Pomegranates, which I just recently picked up. I'm so excited to get into this. I think it's only a duet if I'm right. So I could definitely start this anytime I want because it'll just be one more book to finish. But I have The Mistake, which is the second book, I think. I don't even know if this is the second or the third book in the Off Campus series. I have the deal and I read that and I'm slowly getting through it. I'm just not in the mood for hockey romances right now because I feel like I read so many during hockey season that I just have no intention of getting to this anytime soon, honestly. And I think that is it for series. Um, I also just figured I'll add all this to my TBR cart after I talk about everything. But um, next up, I have two books that I'm actually saving for audiobooks. So I just downloaded the Libby app like last month and you can get audiobooks from your library, but I have both of these on hold right now, which is why I'm just saving them. So once my audiobooks become available, I plan on reading these. So I have Where the Crawdads Sing, and then Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mom Died. Um, this book I've had for literally a year, and I really want to read it because everyone has read it, but I've just heard that it's good as an audiobook because it's really slow, and I saw it on there, so I just decided I'm gonna listen to this as an audiobook. So we're just kind of waiting. And then the same with this, I would definitely read this. Like I have no problem reading this, but I'm just trying to get use out of my audiobooks. And I figured this would be a good audiobook to listen to because it's told by Jeanette McCurdy herself. So those are those. We're almost done. I think the rest of these are going to be romances now. So I have Dial A for aunties. I literally just got this thrifted. I'm really excited about this. I might save it for the summertime too because it's just a summery cover, but whenever I get to it, I get to it. Um, I have the bride test and also the rehearsals or yeah the rehearsals I bought both of these because I wanted to read them while I was a bride back in December but I ended up just being so crazy busy planning a wedding that I barely read anything so now I have these like wedding themed books to eventually read 
I have X's and O's, which I bought this because I wanted to read it on Valentine's Day, but it didn't come in time. I actually might add this back to the top shelf of my TBR cart because it doesn't look like it's too long, and I might be able to just get through this this month as well. So I think I'm going to put that up there. I have the Song of Achilles, which has been on this cart for a year, you guys. I don't know why I'm procrastinating it so much. Um, everybody loves it. But yeah, I might use this as an audiobook as well, but eventually we'll get to her. I have You, Me, and Everything. I just thrifted this as well. I think I said in my video when I showed this that it, I needed like three more dollars to get free shipping and this had good reviews. So picked that up, but this is very new to the shelf along with Beautiful Little Fools. Again, very, very new to my TBR shelf. This is a Great Gatsby in the women's point of view. I'm so excited for this. I love The Great Gatsby. I have a year of, or my year of rest and relaxation. I got this for Christmas and I heard some kind of mixed reviews. Like some people were saying it was good, but some people are saying it's really, really slow. And I am not in the mood to be put in a book slump right now. So I'm going to save this for towards the end of this. <laughs> On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous. I don't really know what this is about. Um, I was in Barnes Noble and they had like a little tag on here that was like one of the favorites from 2022. And I hadn't really heard of it, honestly. And that kind of like, piqued my interest because I haven't heard of it um and yeah it's a pretty short book too so okay guys last two I know this is a lot we have every last word um I actually read this in high school and then I just re-thrifted it um picked it up a few months ago I think I'm going to save this for like a reading YA type book video or something I'm just not like that interested to get into it that's like the worst I feel like it's so like bad to say that because you're like why did you spend money on it but I feel like I'm such a mood reader that I'll buy books that I want to read right then and then I don't get to them and then like a few months later I'm like do I even want to read this anymore it's like literally the worst and finally the last book I have to show you guys is The Edge of Never this is another book that I picked up years ago and I'm kind of keeping these because I'm going to give them a shot and if I end up not liking them I'll end up selling them on Pango Books but that is that And I can't lie to you guys, I do have more books on my physical TBR that I'm not putting on my TBR cart because they're not going to fit. Um, so I have the whole Harry Potter series. I have the Carvel series, which is three books. I have Six of Crows, it's a duet. I have three more books or two more books in the Akatar series. And then I have, I think like three or four books in the Shatter Me series. Those are all on my like fantasy side of my bookshelf. Um, and I don't want to take them off because they're box sets and most of them are like together and not opened. And I don't want to put them on my TBR cart, but those are all also on my physical TBR. And I also have the program, which is four books. So it's the program, the remedy, the treatment, and the epidemic. So that's a lot of books. If you guys want to count, you can count, but I'm not telling you the number. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm doing too bad because it's not completely full. Like, whatever helps you sleep at night, right? <laughs> Alright guys, that is all of my books on my physical TBR. It's a lot. I have a lot of reading to do, but I'm posting this video to hold me accountable to be on a no buy in March. Like, unless books are gifted to me, like if my husband or something like buys me a book, then that's not my fault. But I physically do not want to buy any books in March. Because I have so many books to get through and it just feels so good to like clear off the shelf and get to put them on my actual bookshelves, um, which is really exciting. I also bought a whole nother bookshelf, so the faster I read these, the faster I can fill it up. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if any of the books on my TBR cart are on your TBR. Maybe we can buddy read them. Um, go ahead and just follow me on my Instagram because I post all the time looking for buddy reads. My TikTok and Pango books and everything will be listed in the description box as always. But that is it for today's video. I'm so glad I got this like finally all put together and organized. It'll make it so much easier to pick my like T tbrs in the future like months and also my shelves now are only books that i've read besides that fantasy section and it just makes me feel really good because i get to look at them and be like wow i read all those books but yeah that's all thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one